हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल आई प्रे फॉर यू ऑल गॉड गिव यू अ लॉन्ग लाइफ एंड यू लिव ऑलवेज हैप्पी देयर प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो एंड आल्सो सब्सक्राइब माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई हैव अ रिक्वेस्ट टू यू ऑल वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल एंड फॉर सपोर्टिंग मी सो लेट स्टार्ट टू डे इन्फॉर्मेशन दीज आर सम अपडेट्स ऑन दिन आर बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो आई हैव टू टेल यू समथिंग गो टू गूगल डॉट कॉम and search to naropinions.com and open this site here you can see the latest news dinar opinions and dinar guru updates on a single page so visit this site for more information let me calm everyone's fears about having to go to jordan egypt or turkey to do your exchange that is the most absurd thing i have ever heard it is nothing but fear porn Aki Aki, Fanu News Iraqi Banking Business Associate and US Private Bank Manager, told me in person in Delaware that he was going to open banks in the USA for his uncle and this was in 2009. He did exactly as he said. He will be exchanging dinar as fast as he can go when the time comes. This rumor is as baseless as the myth that exchange centers will give you a higher rate. Article The government forms a higher committee to adapt Iraqi banks to international financial requirements article Central Bank Governor we have put in place methods to secure the provision of dollars and are subject to strict supervision quote Alak announced today Wednesday that all transfers are subject to auditing processes while he indicated that the decline in oil prices has nothing to do with the rise in the exchange rate they are now telling us they can see light at the end of the proverbial tunnel no they do not directly tell us this but you can read into the articles and understand the tone i have a number of group leaders and bankers who swear we are getting it in the next 4 to 5 days i sure hope they are right A parliamentary delegation to visit the Kurdistan region next week on the salaries of employees this article came out before the weekend so it's this week This is one of the hiccups that is keeping HCL from passing So they are in the Kurdish region supposedly working on this What is supposedly one of the last hiccups with passing publicly the HCL Maybe Finally If we get the HCL we should get a new value on the dinar. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a big topic to discuss. Mark your calendars for November 20th to the 21st. That's when Iraq will hold its very first census in 27 years. Yes, you that right. A whole 27 years without a census. But why now? Well, It seems like Prime Minister Sadani has called for this census for a very specific reason. To benefit Iraqi citizens with their HCL or housing, care, and living benefits. Could this also be tied to a new exchange rate? Let's dive into what all this means. First, let's talk about the significance of a census. A census is a way for the government to collect information about the population. This information helps determine how resources like money and services are allocated. In Iraq, this census is long overdue. Many families and individuals have been trying to get the support they need over the years. But how can the government effectively help if they don't know who needs help? Now, Sadani's push for this census might have a deeper meaning. A new exchange rate could potentially change the entire economic landscape for Iraqi citizens. But why is it so crucial that it happens now? Let's break this down step by step. First, there are a lot of Iraqi citizens who haven't received their fair share of benefits. A new census can help identify who is in need and how much they should receive. So, in essence, This census is a way to recalibrate the system. But that's not all. With the recent change in the exchange rate, the government needs an updated number of citizens. This new data will help them figure out the financial distribution better. If you think about it, without a new exchange rate, 
there wouldn't be a push for a census. A fixed exchange rate complicates the calculations for benefits. So, what does this mean for you as an Iraqi citizen? It means that if you want to benefit properly from the HCL, your information needs to be counted. This census is your chance to make sure the government knows you exist and understands your situation. Now, let's talk about the logistics of this census. It will happen across the entire country. People will be counted in their homes, ensuring an accurate headcount. The government has set this particular weekend for a reason. It minimizes disruptions while maximizing participation. What if you have questions about how this census will be conducted? There are resources and hotlines available to answer any questions you may have. Make sure you are informed before the census takes place. This way, you can ensure you'll be counted. What else can we expect from the census? Once the data is collected, the government will analyze it to determine the fair amount for benefits. That's right, this isn't just a number on a page. It has real-world implications for your daily life and economic stability. It's important to stay engaged. Every voice counts during this process. If you have a neighbor or friend who might not understand the census, share this video with them. Let's make sure everyone is prepared and knows the significance of this event. And speaking of sharing, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more updates. You can also leave your thoughts in the comments section below. How do you feel about this census? Do you think it will bring the change needed? Let's discuss. As we wrap up, remember that this census is an opportunity for all Iraqi citizens. It's a chance for your needs to be recognized and addressed. November 20th and 21st will be pivotal days for the future. Stay engaged, stay informed, and make sure you're counted. Until next time, take care and keep watching.